Welcome everybody back to Buenos Aires. We are right outside the Estadio Monumental, the home of Club Atlético River Plate. Now, when we were here in Buenos Aires um, the last time, we visited another stadium in a video that we were making about Diego Maradona, the great Diego Maradona. And uh, he played for two teams. We visited both of their stadiums, the Argentinos Juniors and the Boca Juniors. And uh, the stadium that we visited, the Argentinos Juniors, is the Estadio uh, de Diego Maradona. They named it after him. And then La Bombanera, the stadium of the uh, Boca Juniors, which is a very famous stadium down in like uh, La Boca, the, the neighborhood of La Boca. Now, uh, in that uh, video and also from some of my Argentine friends, I got a little flack for going and seeing that stadium and not coming up here to see this stadium, the Estadio Monumental, okay? So, these are rival teams. Club Atlético River Plate. They are the rival. And I figured if I'm coming back to Buenos Aires, I gotta see the other stadium. I gotta see Club Atlético River Plate Stadium. And there's a museum right over here. You can see there's actually a bit of a line up. And uh, today, we're gonna go check out that museum. And I've also been told that as part of the museum, you get to like do a little mini tour of the stadium. I think they sort of bring you in and you get to see the stadium. And this stadium, by the way, is uh, like absolutely, absolutely gigantic. So pretty excited, pretty excited to see this. So uh, if you're excited to see this too, then come along. Before we do that, I just wanna say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. Okay, we made it in. We are in. We're here in front of, uh, well, we're like out in the lobby. And there's a museum, there's a gift shop. There's a little restaurant, cafe over there. And there are options for like the tour. You can get just the museum, which I think was around like 1,500 or 15,000 pesos. And then you can get like the museum, <clears throat> the museum and the, what they called the like tour express, which is basically just like you go to the stadium, you get to see inside and then you leave. And that was, I think, like about 20,000 pesos. I'm not sure exactly on these prices. I only know what I paid, because I paid for the museum and the full stadium tour, which was 28,000 pesos. <coughs> prices are different if you're uh, from Argentina, but if you're a foreigner like me, you gotta pay the extra price. So, we paid 28,000 pesos. Our tour actually uh, goes at uh, 330, see? 3.30, our tour, and it's actually like 3.15 right now. So I don't want to go into the museum right now because I don't want to mess out on the tour. So we'll take the stadium tour first, and then after that we can come back and we can check out the whole museum. Um, yeah. Standing out here just outside the gift shop where they have a lot of like old, uh, older uniforms. It's really cool to see all the like old iterations of the uniform. They actually have this whole like picture of all the old uniforms, different years, how it's changed over the, over the years, going all the way back to 1904, when they just had like, just a, just a white shirt, but it's pretty cool. So the thing is, we're here and able to tour the, the uh, stadium here, because uh, the, their season hasn't started yet. I think the first game is like a, a week from now, so we're here like just before, and I don't know if, I, I imagine on like non-game days, they still let you tour the stadium during the season. And the museum, of course, is open the whole time. Um, but I think like it's just better for us to show up, you know, like a week before the season starts, before there are games being played, just so there's no like, like confusion and we don't like show up on a day that there's a game and we can't get into the stadium. So it's gonna be cool to see the stadium, but just, you know, know that like, they're actually about to start rolling here and so like as busy as it seems here right now on like a weekday afternoon uh, with people just going to the museum and touring like of course on a uh, on a game day 
you know, this whole place, like inside, outside, everywhere, would just be crazy full, totally full of people. Because the stadium, the other thing about the stadium is like, um, it's not, it's not very much. It's 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 very similar to like La Bombonera that we visited. And it's a lot, it's not like um, a lot of stadiums in the United States where they're sort of like far away from the city and they have a big, you know, they're just surrounded by parking lots. Um, like this, this place is like right in a neighborhood, same as like was with La Bombonera. So like I would imagine on game day, this whole area out here, like where we were waiting out in line, it's just like packed with people and super, super like full um, of people. Anyway, I think the tour is about to start. So we're gonna like, we're gonna get into the stadium. All right, the tour's starting, we're going in. The group that we're in is like huge. There's probably like 100, 200 people in this group. So it's not gonna be like a, I don't think like a uh, super personal tour experience, but it will be really, really cool to see inside um, this stadium. Because I've seen pictures of it, of course. And like, uh, you know, pictures of the inside, pictures of the, it's a big, big, like really uh, modern, really, really cool stadium. Um, and I'm really excited to see it. They have this old train here and like sort of like a what looks like an old train station like as you walk into the uh, the stadium I guess to make it like look like what the stadium used to look like back in the day with like old what the old ticket booths look, used to look like with the old like like people back they have like screens with people they're leading, they're leading us in through some sort of like back, uh, past this like back corridor area here, into the gimnasio. So I guess, like, when we were here before, we weren't able to uh, to tour La Bombonera. There was no like tour for that, but we did get the tour of. Uh, Estadio, um, uh, Estadio Maradona, right? The Argentinos Juniors, which is is like a much smaller stadium than this. Um, but it was still cool to see, like, we got to go all the way in the back, see the locker rooms and do all that stuff. Going up a stairwell here. Let's see where this goes. We're in the area right outside the field. Concession stands over here. Everything, of course, like closed off because they haven't started yet. The season hasn't started, like I mentioned. But, of course, like during <laughs> during a game when this place is completely full with you know tens of thousands of people, this place will be packed, absolutely packed. Anyway, they're 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 funneling us up here into the field. We can see the the seats, so like we're we're definitely going into the field first, which is super cool. I don't know exactly how many people this stadium seats. Um, I'll put the exact number down in the uh, subtitle, but it's many many tens of thousands. Like it's a very very large stadium. All right, here we are in the stadium. Look at the size of this thing. As you come in, they take a group photo of you, you and your people that you're here with, which I imagine they will uh, they will print out and sell to you later. Man, look at this. I'm gonna sit up here because, like, look honestly, not gonna really understand the tour or like the uh, tour guide. Oh look, number 23, Michael Jordan. <sighs> like I said, I'm not gonna understand the, the guide, so I might as well sit like way back here where it's kind of hard to hear anyway, let people like sit further up. I'm just here to see the stadium and man, it is like, uh, it's a nice day. It's a nice day today. It's warmer today than it has been the last few days. The sun is like shining bright. And man, look at this place. It's huge. Very, very big stadium. Also like very, uh, it looks very like, um, like very like new and I don't know. I don't know uh, when exactly the stadium was built. I'll put that down in the uh, subtitle as well but it looks like super new super kind of like modern like really clean I get the feeling that uh, this is probably like the uh, the richest of all the Buenos Aires teams it seems like it 
from the uh, from the museum, from the stadium. It kind of seems like it. And I also get the feeling from being here in Buenos Aires before and being here in Buenos Aires now that like this team, uh, River Plate, and uh, uh, the Boca Juniors, that th those are the, the two like probably like most, I guess like most famous teams from Buenos Aires. If I'm wrong about that, put down the comment. But that's, I get the feeling that those are the most famous teams in uh, in Buenos Aires. Speaking of Michael Jordan, there was a dude in this tour group. I saw him like ahead of us. He's wearing a Michael Jordan shirt. Proving once again, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. That, that really is true, like internationally, man. In, in every country I've been to, uh, I've seen people wearing Michael Jordan stuff. Haven't seen a lot of people wearing LeBron James stuff. Just gonna say that, just gonna put that out there. But I've seen a lot of people wearing Michael Jordan stuff. Like everywhere you go, you'll run into people that are wearing a Michael Jordan jersey. The dude's been retired for a couple of decades now and still an international sensation, just saying. I might be biased. I, I am from Chicago. So, we're down the field. Being on the field at stadiums is the coolest thing to be able to see like from ground level, from field level. And from down here too, you can get a feeling of like how big this stadium really is. It's, it's really big. <laughs> from down here on the field, you can see the benches where the players sit. Super cool. Like I said, being down on the field, the other benches over there, I, I'm not sure which is the home bench and which is the visiting bench. I'm not quite sure. But man, like being down the field, <laughs> It's always cool to be like super close, right? This close to the benches where the players sit. The field is super, super clean. Cause they're gonna, like I said before, the first game here is like a, a week from now. So everything's in like top shape. Super cool. Glad, glad we took the uh, the full tour and not just the express visit. I think the express visit is basically they just like <laughs> they bring you up into the into the stands. You sit there, you get a minute to like look at the field, and then uh, and then that's it. So glad we paid extra. We paid a little bit extra to get the full tour, but it's totally worth it. I think this is the locker room they just brought us through. I think they're bringing us into the... I don't know, we got kind of behind the group. I think that maybe was the visitor's locker room. It looked pretty sparse. And maybe they're bringing us into the home locker room, I would imagine now. Oh. We're turning around. We're turning around. This is some sort of a... Uh, ceremony going on some sort of a martial arts martial arts ceremony going on inside like part of the stadium that was interesting they're not going to let us go in there i'd like to see that though they have gyms here too there are people like playing basketball and more skating in there so I guess a lot more goes on here than just just uh, River Plate soccer. Now we're headed back out, like we're out by uh, by where we started. So I think that's it. I think that's the tour. Now, like honestly, I gotta wonder about that locker room that we walked through. That did not. That, there's no way that's the home locker room. I think maybe the home locker room is just like not included in the tour because like have you ever seen home locker rooms professional sports teams especially professional sports teams that have like as much money as they have to build this place those locker rooms are nice real nice but yeah I think we're uh, I guess the end of the tour 
coming back out to where we started probably end it off out here and then uh, we'll be able to go check out the museum afterwards I think which uh, I definitely want to do and uh, I was right I see the people dressed in red up there who took our photos one by one when we went into the uh, uh, into the stadium and now I imagine they're gonna try and sell me the photo back which I am not going to pay for because I'm literally walking around here filming myself on a camera the entire time so I'm not gonna pay for their photo but I guess if you come here and you want like a souvenir of, uh, of your visit here you could pay for that photo well I was wrong the photo didn't cost anything they're not charging for it they just gave it to me it's crazy this is like a like a very I don't know like I'm expecting you know in the United States if they were doing this they would 100% charge you for this photo they would take it and then yeah they would charge you like 20 bucks for this thing anyway it comes in like a little uh, cardboard frame film our own photo it's pretty cool right yeah got a photo I uh, I honestly have no idea like how I'm gonna take this with me without like it getting squished and all messed up in my, uh, my backpack because like I travel you know just with a backpack and that's it and that thing is full I mean like a hundred percent full to the brim and I don't have a lot of space for a lot of stuff as you can tell if you've been watching any of my videos I'm basically wearing like one of three or four different shirts and I have this one hoodie and that's it for like when it gets cold I don't have any space for like anything I gotta put everything in that backpack including like my laptop that I'm using to edit all these videos and stuff so who knows this thing might uh, it might not make it it might not make it we'll see we'll see I, I, the thing is it's like I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be traveling for it could be a long time and if I'm gonna like lug this thing around um, without you know like folding it and squishing it and getting it all messed up I don't know it's gonna be a tall order we'll try we'll try our best so turns out I actually was right they are charging you for the photo so what happens is we get out they uh, they hand you the photo and then as you come in through here into the next part there's a person who's like do you want to pay for the photo and uh, I said no and I gave it back to him so I guess it's a good thing that we got like video of the photo it's weird it's like inception we got video of the photo but it's a good thing I wasn't gonna pay for that anyway and like I said I'm not gonna be able to like fit that thing without it getting like absolutely destroyed in my backpack as I travel from city to city and country to country there's no way there's no way that thing was gonna survive like honestly I'm still like super worried about that um, that yellow fever vaccine certificate that we got from that other video the video about when we went and got our yellow fever vaccine I'm like super worried that that thing is not gonna make it through like all of my travels and that's super important I'm gonna need that to like get into countries and whatnot anyway I think we've been rambling rambling enough uh, Let's go find out where the museum and I think the museum maybe we go through here. Hold on, I'm gonna ask. They're like filming a little there's a little like movie playing in here. It's a model of the stadium over here. Oh, it's like a foosball table. That's cool. Foosball table. Libertadores Cup. Libertadores Cup champions in, looks like, I guess, 2018. If you see our video uh, about the Boca Juniors, you know about the Libertadores Cup, but basically this is like um, teams from all over pro teams from not just Argentina but all over South America and they play each other and uh, yeah looks like River Plate champions 2018 yeah here we go Comebol Libertadores and uh, oh look at that they played I did not know this they played against the Boca Juniors and they won 
That must have left a very bad taste in the mouth of all the people down in Boca. Teddy Boca Jr. fan, sorry for bringing up bad memories, but... Check out these jerseys a little more. We saw these before. These are super old. Some of these. This one. This one is from 1920. It's got blood on it. Attilio Peruzzi. Yeah, so these are like actual people's jerseys. Marcelo Gallardo, Ariel Ortega. I don't know any of these players, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys can tell me down in the comments. Ramon Ismael Medina Bello. Tell me who, uh, who's your favorite of all these players. Umbaldo Mal Matildo Fiol. Jersey looks like that. There's the current jersey, 2023-24. And all the jerseys going all the way back to 1904. This is super cool. We can pick out which one's our favorite. Real quick, which one is the favorite? Um I like I like these bad boys right here. The black with the uh, red and white stripe. That's pretty cool. That one and kind of like kind of like this one too. In the '90s with the Kilmes on it, beer of the people. All right, let's, let's try to find out where the museum is. I think maybe it's upstairs here. Oh yeah, this looks very museum-like up here. All right, so they have alphabetical lists starting over there and then coming all the way over here of I guess all the players in the history of the team? Wow. Are these, are these all the players? Or are these like just the greatest players? Because, I mean, the team's been around for like over a hundred years. Can't be all the players, can it? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Is this, this is all the players? No, this has got to just be like the best of the best. Hall of Fame players. I have been told, wow, this is cool, look at this, the old stadium. I have been told that it was like, that basically like, I'm doing a disservice. <laughs> I'm doing a disservice to, uh, to everybody by only going and visiting uh, the Bombonera in La Boca and not coming up here to see Estadio Monumental. So I get it, I get it, and I, uh, I'm making amends, making amends for my affront. But um, like I said, I'm not I'm not a super big soccer fan myself. But it is really really cool to see this because I really do like even if I don't like soccer itself, like or I'm not like a big fan of soccer. What I am a fan of is like stadiums and sports history and stuff like that. It's so cool to come and see like. Like what the old stadium used to look like, you know, back in. 1923 or like like this thing is this is this what the stadium was like the very very first it's just a field with like some bleachers on the end and 
is a model of the museum, the river museum. It's like architectural model. I guess this is 2009, 2009 when they opened. Yo, yeah, like this, I mean, man, this is the thing. Imagine like coming to a soccer game back in the day, get your little ticket, walk in through the gate like this, this gate. It's cool. It's really cool. Okay, here's the trophy room. Oh yeah, extensive trophy room. There was a very extensive trophy collection as well in the uh, video about the Bombonera. Maybe these two teams really are like the, the most famous, most storied teams. I know there's a huge rivalry, that's for sure. Uh, look at this, 1920 champions. Just like that, uh, that jersey we saw out there with the blood on it. <laughs> this is the jersey that they were wearing. Whose jersey was that? Was he here? Wait a minute, let me see. Was... Not... Mm, oh yeah, this guy. Peruzzi, right? Attilio Peruzzi, that was the guy? Is that right? Look at all this stuff, this is cool. Super old. One of the things about like places like this, this trophy room and other like certain museums that we go to is they're so well lit, right? There's like lights everywhere up in here. And it's really easy to see all this stuff when you're here using your eyes. But like with a camera, there's just so many, so much glare and so many reflections that it's kind of hard to see. Here's a Libertadores Cup. So how many Libertadores Cups? There's one, two, three. Three Libertadores Cups. Copa Interamericana. Wait a minute, this is the uh, European South American Cup from 1986, the Toyota Cup, Confederación Sudamericana de Football, Torneo Ganadores de Copa. This cup is ornate. This is very old too. I, I don't know. I don't know what this cup is. I don't know enough about soccer history in South America to know, but it's very ornate. It's very cool. There is a tunnel here with Dates, years on the ground, going back in time. I think I've actually read about this. This is the, yeah, the go back in time tunnel. You can like check out like info and highlights and stuff from, yeah, like the 2000s. Copa Libertadores, 2015. Copa Sudamericana. back further in time. Oh yeah, okay, the 90s. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so like there's a 2000s room. 
90s room, all the 90s stuff. Copa Libertadores de America in 1996. And they have like a homage to other sports. Gabriela Sabatini, famous tennis star from the 90s. Film in there talking about George H.W. Bush and Nelson Mandela. I like that. That's good. They place they place the soccer history and the history of the team like in the history of you know like like some old some historical stuff. That's John Lennon assassination of John Lennon. We are the world record. This is cool. It's cool. It's cool to see, like, uh, it's cool to have them placing the team history, like, in to the rest of history. Give you an idea of what it was really like. 1986, Copa Libertadores. Keep going back. Back in time. Back to the 70s. Alright, we're in the 70s. Oh, all these old, all the old, like, soccer magazines. Other magazines, too, but, like, uh, Goles. La Nacion, that's, like, the famous, uh, the, the, uh, the famous um, newspaper here in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. Let's see, I think some of these other... Other magazines I recognize. Do I recognize these? It's cool. It's cool to see old magazines. I don't really recognize too many of these. I mean, I recognize La Nación. Oh, wait, actually, you know what I recognize? El Gráfico. See right there? So we can see that there. El Gráfico. I know that because uh, El Gráfico, they published... Uh, the article about uh, Che Che Guevara um, and like his, his bicycle or his motorcycle rides through uh, through South America. El Gráfico, yeah. We got a whole video about that actually. We went and saw che, che Guevara's house, like his childhood home, in uh, just outside of Cordoba in Alta Gracia. Going back. Oh, wait, nope, we're going the wrong way. Gotta follow the timeline. Go further back. The sixties, no. Wait. There's no 60s. Did I miss something? Did they just skip over the 60s? Okay, uh, they have skipped over the 60s. And we're just gonna go to the 50s instead. Pero no importa 
Nürburgring Circuit, Juan Manuel Fangio won the Nürburgring Circuit in this thing. Super cool. Grandes artistas entraron en los hogares para hacer reír, llorar y emocionar a miles de argentinos. Smolder. Oh, there's Ava Peron's book, La Razón de Mi Vida. Saw a copy of that actually when we went out and visited the old, the, uh, the Peron's like house. Eva in Juan Perón's house, San Vicente. Saw the tomb of Juan Perón out there. The 40s. And we're here in the 1940s. Aventuras. Adolfo Diaz Gomez Aventuras de los de dos niños peronistas. We're getting into like really old stuff here. I like I like seeing this stuff. Some uh, what look like reproductions of letters from Juan Perón. I imagine they're reproductions. Yeah, this is like the uh, the famous uh, speech from the balcony in the Congress building, I believe, where where uh, Juan Perón made his speech, and he like hugged hugged Eva Perón in front of the whole crowd. It's like a very famous moment. It's depicted in like many photographs and like well one really famous photograph but many like paintings and sculptures and things that have been made from that photograph we talk about that more in the uh, the video about the Perón there's actually three videos that we made last time we were here in Buenos Aires about Eva Perón and Juan Perón check those out It's cool old, uh, yeah, this is our guy here, I believe, Carlos Gardel, yeah, Carlos Gardel, Carlos Gardel is a really interesting figure in, uh, like, in pop culture history in, uh, Argentina, most famous tango singer and, and composer, probably, in the history of Argentina, and tango is a really big deal. It's actually a Carlos Gardel museum. I think we're going to go to that. There may be a video coming out soon all about Carlos Gardel, so stay tuned for that. Cool. I like this. I really like this, this part of the museum. It's cool to see all the trophies and all that stuff. You know, that's great, but it's cool to go back through time in the tunnel of time, the time tunnel. Alright, we're in the 1900s and the 1920s. 1900s, 1910s, 1920s. <laughs> Not a lot going on. They only have the one screen. <laughs> That's okay. They have those cool striped jerseys. This is one of those old, like, photograph viewers basically where like there'd be two photographs right taken from like slightly different angles so that when you like look through I can't remember the stereoscope maybe it's called you look through there and then like it looks like it's 3d super cool stereoscope am I right about that hot air balloon pampa why is this thing famous 25th of December 1907 from the Society of Sporting Society of Argentina El Pampero huh. crossed the Rio de la Plata 
Oh. Company for Aaron Anchonin and Jorge Newberry. Oh, okay. This makes a lot more sense now why they named the airport after this guy, Jorge Newberry. Apparently, he was an aviator. And uh, I think that's it, because 1901, that was the first uh, first year for the team, right? 1901. And I think that's uh, yeah, that's it, because this is the ramp back down out to the lobby in the gift store. So I guess that's it. We've seen it. We've seen the whole museum. Saw the museum. Saw the stadium. We, uh, we got our picture taken, and then we thought, hey, they're probably going to charge us for this picture. And then we thought, like, oh, no, maybe they're just going to give it to us. And then uh, they pulled the rug out, and, yeah, they were going to charge us for it. But that's okay. We were going we were going to be able to take it with us anyway. But here we are. Back out here in the lobby. And uh, it's a little less crowded now. I think the last tour of this stadium is around like 5.30, and we're getting close to that time now. So uh, what do we think? What's the final verdict here on uh, Museo River? And also, uh, where do we get out of here? seems like it's the way in. I don't know where the exit is. I think yeah, I think in order to exit, you have to go through the gift shop in order to exit, which makes a lot of sense. But uh, they won't let me film in the gift shop. I tried before and the guy yelled at me, so uh, uh, we'll meet you out on the street. So there we go. Museo River and the Estadio Monumental. We're all done. Took us about an hour and a half, two hours. Do the whole tour, see the museum. It was cool. It was cool. Cost uh, twenty-eight thousand pesos, like I said, twenty-eight thousand pesos, which ends up being about uh, I don't know twenty-four dollars U.S. something like that. A little more expensive than like a lot of the things that you usually find as far as like museums and things to see like that here in uh, Buenos Aires. But um, I think it was worth it. I think it was definitely worth it, especially because like this team has such like cultural significance, right? to Buenos Aires and also like a, a very very long and storied history here in the city and honestly if I had uh, since I went and saw La Boca the last time I was here if I had gone to Buenos Aires again returned to Buenos Aires and not come here to the uh, Museo River to see uh, the history of Club Atlético River Plate well that just wouldn't have been right. So, I think that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed seeing this place. And uh, there's going to be more coming from here in Buenos Aires, here in Argentina as well. So, uh, stick around for that. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.